Some real creatures have discovered how to escape death. These are not myths nor science fiction. They exist, they breathe, and they have developed mechanisms that challenge what we finally understand. Some stop their metabolism for centuries. Others return to their youthful form as if life were a cycle they can repeat. There are those who survive the vacuum of space or the freezing of an ice age and wake up. Today you are going to meet five species that do not accept death as destiny. They are immortal animals, and they could change forever our understanding of time, the body, and what it means to be alive. In 2018, a group of Russian and American scientists achieved the unthinkable. They revived tiny worms after having been frozen in the permafrost of Siberia for more than 40,000 years. The organisms, known as nematodes, were found in soil cores extracted tens of meters deep. When they were rehydrated and temperatures rose, they began to move. They ate, they lived, as if time had not passed. These microscopic animals do not defeat death by fighting it, but by stopping it. In extreme conditions, they enter a state called cryptobiosis, in which their metabolism is reduced to almost zero. During this process, they do not age, they do not breathe, they do not deteriorate. They suspend their existence completely, as if pressing a biological pause button. In this state, they can resist freezing, dehydration, lack of oxygen, and the passage of time. They are not immortal in absolute terms, but their ability to withstand centuries or even millennia in lethal conditions makes them true custodians of time. Science does not yet fully understand how their cellular structures survive so long without permanent damage. But one thing is clear, what these worms do, no human being has managed to replicate in their body. The idea that something can survive intact from the age of mammoths raises a new frontier in our understanding of life. Frozen nematodes don't just defy death, they also challenge our notion of time. For them, 40,000 years can be a simple nap. In the most saline and hostile waters on the planet, lives an organism that has perfected the art of waiting. Artemia, a small crustacean also called brine shrimp, has developed a radical survival strategy. When environmental conditions become extreme, its eggs enter a state of suspended animation. In this state, known as an hydrobiosis, they eliminate almost all the water inside them and turn off their metabolism completely. For decades, and possibly more than a century, these cysts remain inert. They don't breathe, they do not develop, they don't age, they wait. And when they come into contact with salt water again, they wake up, hatch, and continue their life cycle as if time had not passed. The surprising thing is that during this period, they do not deteriorate. They do not accumulate visible genetic damage. They just pause life. Experiments carried out by NASA have proven its resistance outside the planet. By exposing Artemia cysts to cosmic radiation, microgravity, and space vacuum, many survived and were able to develop normally upon their return. They are organisms as simple as they are ancient, but their ability to resist conditions that would destroy any human cell makes them ideal candidates for studying longevity, cellular preservation, and even colonization of other planets. Artemia does not defy death by attacking it. He challenges her by waiting. In a world that changes ever faster, your form of immortality is patience. Your strategy is not to defeat the environment, it is to disappear from the map until the environment changes, and then simply return. Hidden among grains of moss living in water droplets that fit on the tip of a needle, the tardigrade, also called water bear, is one of the most resistant organisms on the planet. It has no bones, no teeth, no claws, but it survives where everything else collapses. Over the past few years, it has been subjected to conditions that would destroy any known life form. It has withstood temperatures close to absolute zero, pressures greater than those of the abyssal depths, ionizing radiation and direct exposure to the vacuum of space. In 2007, a group of tardigrades were sent to the outside of a spacecraft during a European Space Agency mission. When they returned to Earth, they were still alive. Some even reproduced normally. Its secret lies in a form of extreme survival called cryptobiosis. Upon becoming completely dehydrated, your body contracts into a structure called a ton, 
a closed biological capsule in which your metabolism drops to undetectable levels. In that state, they can resist for decades, perhaps centuries, waiting for external conditions to become tolerable again. Additionally, they produce special proteins that protect their DNA from environmental damage, preventing lethal mutations. Unlike other species on this list, the tardigrade not only survives, it actively resists. It is a living shield. The immortality of the tardigrade is not in its longevity, but in its ability to endure beyond catastrophes. It can survive mass extinction events, ice ages, even the death of its immediate environment. And although its size does not exceed half a millimeter, its evolutionary legacy is enormous. In a world on the verge of collapse, it could be the last witness of life. If these microscopic creatures can survive the vacuum of space or stop time in their cells, what else is nature hiding from us? Subscribe to our channel to discover more hidden files. In appearance, planarians are nothing special. They are flat worms that live in aquatic environments with slow movement and a gelatinous body. But something extraordinary happens inside them. They can regenerate their entire body, even from a single cell. It doesn't matter how many times you divide them. A new planarian will emerge, complete, functional, and identical to the original. This ability is due to its neoblasts, pluripotent stem cells distributed throughout its body. They are capable of transforming into any tissue, muscle, nervous system, internal organs. But there is something even more amazing. Unlike human stem cells, planarian neoblasts do not deplete over time, and they do not accumulate genetic errors with cell division. A study at the University of Nottingham showed that by repeatedly sectioning a planarian, it could regenerate indefinitely without showing signs of aging. Scientists even spoke of functional biological immortality, not because they cannot die, but because their life cycle does not have a phase of progressive deterioration. Furthermore, if a planarian clones itself, which it usually does by fission, its offspring are genetically identical and maintain the same regenerative potential. That is, there is no known limit to how many times it can be reconstructed or replicated without losing biological integrity. In a world where cellular aging is synonymous with death, planarians offer a radically different vision. They are proof that, at least for some beings, the passage of time is not a sentence, but rather one more variable that can be rewritten. For years, scientists thought that death was inevitable for even the simplest creatures until a little jellyfish defied that logic. Turritopsis dorni, a species discovered in the Mediterranean Sea, does not escape death by facing it, but by refusing to follow its course. When damaged, aged, or faced with extreme environmental conditions, it does not die. Instead, it reinvests its entire life cycle, returning to its youthful form as if adulthood had only been a temporary test. This process, known as transdifferentiation, implies that its adult cells are reprogrammed and transformed into different cell types, recovering the initial state. It is as if a human being could become a child again with a new body and clean memories, a regeneration not only physical, but also functional, which can be repeated indefinitely. The immortality of this jellyfish was first described by marine biologist Christian Sommer in the 1990s and later documented in studies published by the scientific journal Nature and Science of Sleep in the Marine Biology Laboratory of the University of Lecce in Italy. Although most individuals die from external causes, such as infections or predators, under controlled conditions, this species does not show a biological point of irreversible aging. That makes it the only known animal with the potential for cyclic immortality. Since its discovery, Turritopsis dorni has been the subject of multiple investigations, not only because of its rarity, but because of what it could reveal about cellular reprogramming in humans. Its existence raises profound questions. What if aging is not a straight line? What if, like her, we could also restart? In the heart of a creature of just five millimeters lies one of the greatest mysteries of biology, a cycle without end, a life that does not break, it only restarts. Death is not an end, but an idea, a limit we assume is inevitable. But these tiny creatures force us to question it. Some stop time, others rebuild themselves endlessly, and some are reborn again and again without losing themselves in the process. 
For them, death is not a straight line, but a cycle, an interval, an incomplete mechanism. They defy death not on a whim, but by evolution. In their biology, without metaphors, there is a disturbing truth. Life finds ways to extend beyond what we think possible, not forever, but enough to change everything. While we count years, they count restarts. Death is not a wall, but a border. And borders like life exist to be crossed.